Yes. While we're on that topic of, of sample size, that's how you see template analysis as different from other methods. Yes, you can see what um, Jonathan Smith's IPA, Interpretive Phenomenological Analysis, as being more concerned with smaller. Yeah, I sites. mean, it's, it's mm. rare that you see an IPA study with sort of participant numbers well into double figures because it is so much more concerned about um, you know, the, the, the nature of lived experience of each individual participant. And then, and then at the end, bringing them together to see whether there's some common themes. So it's simply the, the sheer amount of work involved that restricts you to a small number. I, I think, to, to, to a large approach. extent, it is. Yeah, yeah. Because template analysis is slightly yeah. more um, efficient if you're yeah, working the way yeah. of doing it. You can handle more cases yeah. and, and but therefore ask more questions about between cases. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, yes. I think template analysis is 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 more focused on the between case than within case to some extent. Um, as I said, it will vary from study to study. But I, I mean, I sometimes like to say, you know, on the one hand, you've got things like IPA and other phenomenological approaches, um, and perhaps some narrative approaches as well, that we're, we're, where you're really interested in the individual account mm -hmm. to a large extent. And then at the other extreme, and for those, template analysis might be too focused on the structure of the coding, yes. in a sense. Yes. But the other extreme, we've got 40, 50 interviews or more, and I've had studies like this. I've tried to use template analysis, and it just becomes quite unmanageable because of this iterative process of having to revise things. But there's so many things when you need it's to revise. revise. too often. Um, and then I think that you know, things like, depending on what you're doing, so with things like some of Miles and Huberman's guidelines, um, matrix type approaches, right, framework yes. analysis, framework, yes, yeah. Yeah. probably suit better. Right. So I mean I think there is a there is a there is a kind of range of convenience in mm, terms yeah. of sample size. That's interesting, yeah.